back. Into this class, I'm going to be teaching you and giving you some important reasons on why you should choose black soldier fly larvae over soybeans for your fish feed, your swine feed, and your poultry feed. Why you should choose black soldier fly larvae to feed your pigs, your poultry, your fish instead of soya beans. That means you'll be replacing soybeans with black soldier fly. If we are looking at the percentage of protein, in 100 grams of black soldier fly, we have 50 to 60%. On the other hand, in soya beans, it's 31 to 36%. In fish, black soldier fly larvae increases the specific and non-specific immunity in fish. That means it actually boosts the immune system while soya beans actually can cause distal intestinal inflammation called enteritis. Now, when we're going to cost, it's very clear. The black soja flour is very affordable. It actually reduces the cost of production. While on the other hand, soybeans is very expensive and increases the cost of production. That means you wouldn't be able to make as much profit as you would love to or you should have been. Now, in pigs, actually, black soldier fly as a feed actually promotes the growth of beneficial growth microbes. That means the microorganisms that are being grown in the gut actually keep the gut healthy. While soya beans, on the other hand, in, in pigs, reduce growth and digestion and causes the pigs to fat a lot. If we come to the calcium content of the black soldier fly, it's very high, but in soybeans it's not. So this rich calcium, this high percentage of calcium actually increases bone development in the fish, in the poultry, in the swine. But soybeans doesn't have as much, you know, nutritional content when it comes to calcium and this is very important because no matter how fat or how much your pig or your poultry or your fish may weigh their bones will be able to support their weight when it comes to the nutritional value the importance of the black soldier fly larvae on the immune system of the fish the poultry the pig it actually boosts their immune system and they don't really fall ill they don't fall ill if you compare that with the feed that is given that contains soybeans now let's go to how it's being processed or how you can use them now with the black soldier fly larvae, you can actually feed your poultry, your fish, your pig with fresh black soldier fly larvae. It could actually be dried. You could dry it and then you mix it with your other feed, with the other components in your feed and you feed your fish, pig or poultry. But when it comes to soybeans, it must be processed before it's been used. That's why soybeans is very expensive. So you can actually just buy the black soldier fly when it's fresh and give it to your fish or you just take the dried black soldier fly larvae and drop it and feed your poultry. I think you've watched my video so you've seen how we feed our poultry with fresh black soldier fly larvae and the real love it and you see how big and healthy our poultry is and their bones are very juicy in fact the bone marrow is very tasty when you cook the fish or when you cook the poultry or when you cook the the swine try and see and then when it comes to actually the the difference in waste or in physique when um your fish, your pig, or your poultry is being fed with soybeans, they will actually develop diarrhea or wet litter, and that actually affects the growth, especially chicken. 
And um, it's something that a lot of farmers haven't taken note of. But we that feed our poultry, our fish or our pigs with these black soldier fly larvae, they actually don't develop diarrhea and have this wet litter. And they really grow. They really, really grow. Remember, I mentioned that this black soldier fly larvae actually promotes the growth of healthy microbes in the gut of the pig. And it does the same for the chickens and the fish. So, after hearing all the points I've given, what have you decided? Do you still want to stick to soybeans that is very expensive? Or you will move to the winning side, that is the black soldier fly larvae? Because that's the best. It's very affordable, very nutritional. It's good for their health, good for their gut. It, act, it makes their bones grow well. They don't fall sick. You know, it boosts their immune system. And this is what every farmer wants. Every farmer wants low cost, low cost. Something that will make them to have higher profit. Hello, guys. I'm chilling with my babies here. The black soldier fly larvae. We're having a wonderful time. I just fed them, so I'm just sitting down to watch them eat. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <clears throat> Check us out. Want to see them closer? They're not pathogenic, guys. Thank <laughs> you.